I'm Emily McKenzie, author and illustrator of Wanted, Ralphie Rabbit Book Burglar, which has been nominated for the Scottish Children's Book Awards. This is a book about how much someone can love reading. Ralphie Rabbit loves books so much that he gets himself into a spot of bother. Some rabbits dreamed of lettuces and carrots. Others dreamed of flowering meadows and juicy dandelions. But Ralphie was a little bit different. Ralphie dreamed about books. In fact, he didn't just dream about them. He wanted to read all the time. He made lists of all the books he'd read and gave them carrot ratings. He made lists of all the books he wanted to read and placed them in category order. He even made a list of books to recommend to his family and friends. Ralphie loved to learn new words. He loved the smell of books and the sound of the pages flicking. He loved getting lost in stories, pretending he was the captain of a pirate ship or an intrepid jungle explorer. Yes. Ralphie loved books. So much that he started creeping into people's bedrooms and reading their books while they were sleeping. And then one thing led to another. Ralphie didn't just read the books, he took them home. He crept off with comics and cookbooks, dashed away with dictionaries, nabbed novels and pinched poetry. Ralphie had more books to read than ever before and he was very pleased with himself. Arthur loved reading too. He had shelves buckling with fairy tales and bookcases bursting with picture books. So when gaps started to appear, along with half-eaten carrots and soggy lettuce leaves and his favourite book, The Biggest Book of Monsters Ever, went missing, Arthur noticed. Someone was taking Arthur's books. It was time to find out who. Arthur assembled a special surveillance kit. Then with Teddy to keep him company, he sat in the dark and waited and waited. Soon he heard a rustle. Arthur frantically rummaged for his camera and his binoculars. He shone his torch into the dark corners of his room. And that's when he spotted Ralphie. Stop! Come back here, you little bunny book thief! Arthur cried. But it was too late. Arthur was furious. He told his mum, but she just laughed. A bunny book thief? Arthur. I think your imagination is running wild. He told his teacher, but she just said, Arthur, I want you to go away and have a long hard think about what you're saying. What could Arthur do? That rascally rabbit had taken his favorite book of all time and no one believed him. There was only one thing for it. Arthur called his local police station. Hello, hello, hello. A bunny book thief, you say? Well, fancy that. Was there um, anything unusual about this rabbit? Can you give me a description? Said PC Puddle, sniggering. Well, he was brown, said Arthur, with a fluffy white tail. Oh, and he was wearing a t-shirt that said, I love books. With that, PC Puddle laughed out loud. Ha ha ha! Well, I'll let you know if we discover anything. He snorted. That night, Arthur felt fed up. He went to bed without a story and he hardly slept at all. Meanwhile, Ralphie had found another house with plenty of books to pinch. But this time Ralphie was in big trouble. He had burrowed up into PC Puddle's house. Well, 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 
What are we here? said PC Puddle. Could it be a little bunny book thief? Arthur was right all along. PC Puddle called Arthur straight away and told him he had caught the culprit red-handed. Please come to the police station first thing tomorrow to identify your bunny book thief, he said. Easy, thought Arthur. There can't be many rabbits who wear I love books t-shirts. But he was wrong. Arthur had never seen so many rabbits and they were all wearing them. This was going to be harder than he thought. But then PC Puddle pressed a big red button, an alarm bell rang and... A conveyor belt of goodies started moving in front of the bunny lineup. As lettuce leaves, apples, carrots and dandelions whizzed by, all the rabbits began to feast. Except for one. Ralphie just wasn't interested. Until a very special treat passed by. Ralphie couldn't resist. In a frenzy, he started flicking through a pile of books. Aha! Gotcha! said PC Puddle. You were in big trouble. I'm sorry, stammered Ralphie. I just can't get enough books. You mustn't just go around stealing them, said PC Puddle. You'll have to put them all back. Suddenly, Arthur began to feel sorry for Ralphie. After all, it was only because he loved books so much that he'd managed to get himself into trouble. If you want lots and lots of books to borrow, said Arthur, I know exactly where you can get them. The library! Ralphie and Arthur are best book buddies now and love reading together whenever they can. And they, especially Ralphie, always take the books back. The library is their favourite place. The next time you pop into your local library, be on the lookout because you might, just might, spot Ralphie and Arthur reading there too. Near the beginning of this story, Ralphie makes lists of books that he's read, books that he'd like to read, and books to recommend to people he knows. How about you have a go at making your own lists of books that you enjoyed reading, books you'd like to read, and books to recommend to your family and friends. You could share your lists with them and visit your library afterwards. <laughs>